You have new messages. Hey Hayden, uh, this is Dr. Stern. It's been like a month since our last appointment here in the office. Um, we want to know about you. So if you need to talk, just call us here. Hi Hayden, how's the script coming up? I just wanted to remind you that the deadline for the draft is in two weeks and uh, we haven't heard from you in a while, so let me know. Okay, bye. There's only one way for you to be free. Another body was found today. Authorities say it's the third one this week on a similar pattern of violent crimes. A recent police statement say they are getting close on finding the person responsible for these crimes. Yesterday, the mayor said that he will do anything in his power to help the chief of police with this matter. And in our special interview, we have a specialist on criminology that's going to tell us about criminal psychology. Stay tuned to us here in NPR News. Stay away from him. It's just a distraction. What are you waiting for? Finish what you started. Who are you? Where did you come from? I'm you. Without me, your book would never exist. Anywhere you go, I'll be there. Anytime. What are you talking about? Who do you think helped you get in that situation a few months ago? You Americans think this is your land. You invade my country with excuse of peace and freedom. But you are no better than what you call dictator. What do you want? Your blood! <laughs> you gotta pay for your sins! You, please do it. I have a family. I also had a family! This is for my people that died under your flag! <laughs> It was me who gave the courage. If you don't do something soon, he's going to rape you and kill you. <laughs> You're running out of time. Tick tock. Tick tock. But you didn't stop there. You needed to feel what you felt that day. You started killing people. You wanted them to experience what you experienced. You write it down. That's how your book was created. And I helped you do it. Oh. That's not true. You're not even real. We agree on something. I'm not real. Answer me this. How is it that you know so much about every victim in your story? Every single detail about their deaths? Shoot him. someone who knew how they died, who was there, is able to describe their death with great detail. <laughs> this can't be right.
<laughs> I'm not a murderer. Under the right circumstances, anyone is capable of taking the life of another human being. <laughs> but you couldn't stop killing people. You make her obsessed with blood. It's just a matter of time the police know about you. And you still need an ending. Open the door. Put the knife down. Put the knife down. Yeah, this is Detective Reyes, batch number 1138. I need a squad car and an ambulance as soon as possible to uh, 1786 Alexander Avenue. Yeah, thank you. Just all that traditional. One to two more paramedics, as well as the ambulances, also in route and air rescue. 